I mean, uh, I thought today's practice had a uh, pretty good energy, not not like we wanted to be. Uh, we'll keep getting better, hopefully. Uh, again, the winner loser scenario, hopefully, uh, puts some competition into it and gives guys uh, uh, an idea of what we expect. Uh, you know, we talk about winners uh, getting good stuff and losers. It's really bad for losers. You know, we got to make it so you don't want to lose. Uh, make it real hard. You see coaches over there running. There's managers. There's trainers. If you're on the offensive losing team today, you got to run gassers, and uh, that's that's part of it. So you want to win. It pays to be a winner. It was a close competition throughout. You know, between the offense and defense. Mm -hmm. I mean, is that good to see? You know, that that both sides had their had their good moments today. Well, it's good to see that they competed. You know, that's the that's the bottom line is that we wanted to get guys to compete today. That's from circle drill to the. The individual uh, uh, competition drills, all that stuff. We just want to see guys compete. It's hard to play this game unless you're a competitor. If you're not a competitor, man, it's hard to play at every position, punter, kicker, whatever it is. Uh, and you find out a lot about, it, about guys when you put them in those situations where they've got to compete one-on-one -on -one against somebody else. Even that one-on-one -on -one drill where you had the quarterbacks participating, sure. you know, everyone participating yeah. in that drill. That's part, that's part of what we do. Everybody's got to compete. Coach, you uh, have, oh, sorry. Go ahead. Come after you. Uh, it was evident that the players were extra fiery out there in the field today. Do you think that was to show up for the juniors in attendance here for junior day? Or? I, you know, I, I don't know if it was or not. I, hopefully it was because it was win or loser day. It was because uh, somebody was going to win, somebody's going to lose. You know, like we told them, today was really our first game. Um, so what we wanted to do was uh, put them in those situations where they had to compete and either win or lose. You put a lot of emphasis on turnovers, kind of mm -hmm. switching the, the culture here from, from last year. Mm -hmm. And to end that drill with that interception by Brandon McDowell and so the guys get all fired up, do you feel like it's starting to you know, take a, take place, you know, the, the message you're trying to send? Well, I think our defensive staff is doing a really good job of making a big emphasis of it. Uh, if, if, if you look at stats and you look at over the last 10 years, you look at defenses that get the ball back, uh, those teams are usually pretty good. And uh, turning the back over to an offense like we have uh, bodes well for us. So that's going to be a big part of our plan to win. We, we talk about our number two in our plan to win is protecting chairs to football on offense and it's taken away on defense. So that's a big thing for us. So yeah, that's a big emphasis every day for us. On the flip side of that, the offense turning the ball over, does that worry you at all? Is there any, anything well, to work on? Like I said, anytime, to, anytime you turn the ball over, it worries you. Uh, We'll, we'll, you know, we've got some time to figure it out and get it fixed. We won't play the guys that turn it over, just so you know that. The guys that turn it over won't play in the game. I don't care who they are. They won't play in the game. We'll, like I said, we'll, you know, we'll find somebody. We'll find somebody that doesn't turn the ball over. Running back, receiver, quarterback, whoever it is. We'll play somebody. It might be somebody going to the prom in two weeks. So, you know, we'll find them. You know, the first day you weren't very happy, but do you feel like the week progressed the way you'd like to see it in terms of you know, either team uh, offensively or defensively? I'm pretty happy every day. <laughs> I am. I'm pretty happy every day. Anytime I get a chance to come out here, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy. No matter what the practice, you know, looks like, I'm pretty happy any day I get to come out here. Uh, you know, we're just looking for steady uh, improvement as much as we can. There won't be, there'll be some, you know, uh, greater some days. Uh, there'll be some days it won't be quite as much. We don't want to take steps back. We don't want to. Uh, so small victories are big in our program. You feel like the effort is there? That's something you were kind of emphasizing earlier in the week, the effort. You feel yeah. like it's starting to get better? I think so. I think they're learning. I thought yesterday we were not as as, uh, uh, as ready to come out and practice, but I thought today they flew around pretty good. And uh, It's kind of a silly question, but why do you hand out chocolate milk at the end of practice? Chocolate milk is one of the best things for recovery after a, a stressful uh, activity. One of the best things you can drink. Really? Yes. Chocolate milk. Learn something new.